Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about the latest iOS 18 beta, which is of course beta 3. We have a lot to talk about here, a lot of new features that we have discovered and of course we're talking about some really important data regarding the next beta coming for iOS 18 testers and of course the public beta as well. But first of all, let's get it started with some new features and changes that we have discovered on the third beta of iOS 18. And we're getting started with a TV app. On iOS 18 beta 3, you will notice that on the TV app, whenever you're watching something, you will now get insight right here. So you will have info up next and then you have inside. Right here, it will show you all like the different information about that scene, like an actor here, you can just go ahead and tap on it and it shows you all the different information which is really really awesome of course all the different shows all the different movies and all that stuff now of course this is not available for every movie as far as i've seen or every episode sometimes it shows up sometimes not but a really nice feature to have moving on into the lock screen and we have a new addition here so when you go to customize now you can have your Apple Music right on your lock screen. So you can replace one of the old buttons, of course, now with Apple Music as well, which is actually pretty awesome. Now what's really cool is that, of course, you can also add it to your control center. So if we go here and try to add a control, you will now notice that you will also get the music. Now the same happens here also for the action button. You can now have your music on the action button tap right there and just swipe here to controls and you will be able to go ahead and choose the Apple Music app. So as easy as that, you can now use the action button to actually open your Apple Music. Now with iOS 18, Apple has done a lot of improvements to the keyboard with especially taking notice the emoji keyboard. Now this has also changed with iOS 18 beta 3 and you will notice here totally different spacing. But what Apple has actually done now with beta 3 is that now you can tap back, basically react to text on iMessage even with your stickers or your emojis. So if I have a sticker here, now I can actually react to a message with one of my sticker. Now the same happens for your emojis as well. So a pretty cool new feature to have on your iOS device. And this right here is also really interesting. This pop-up that you will get on the battery section when you go to your settings app. So under the battery, you will see update finishing in the background. It is basically letting you know that the update is consuming your battery and it's basically working in the background right here. It says that you can use your iPhone normally. This could take a while, battery life and thermal performance might, it might improve once it's finished, of course, because this will again heat up your iPhone, but at the same time also consume battery. And on the Maps app, whenever you're searching, let, let's say for like a restaurant or something, you will see that now it displays way more pictures on the results. So these are some of the new features and changes that you will find on the third beta of iOS 18. And now let's move on to some really important stuff. And one of them is of course battery. Now I have to say I'm really surprised with the battery life on iOS 18 beta 3. Now here's what I'm talking about. You can see right here, if I just go to battery health, the battery health is at 95% and this right here is the battery performance on my device. Yesterday, about 125% battery, we got 12 hours, 45 minutes. Right here we have uh, about 70, 85% battery, five hours, 35 minutes. Then right here again, we have 75% battery, six hours, 57 minutes. Again, it's a great, great battery life, especially again, we're talking about a beta here, a beta three, which is of course a big update. iOS 18 is a big update with a ton of new features and changes. So you cannot expect the best battery life ever, but taking into consideration that it's a beta, it's a big update and all that, it is actually doing pretty well. So you can see right here with 75, 70% battery, actually we got seven hours, 45 minutes, which is again, a great result being that it's such a big update and it's only beta three. 
and also this beta seems way smoother than the other one especially on the home screen and the control center now of course these are things that have changed a lot with ios 18. the control center totally different but now it has improved and it's much easier to actually just move things around customize things is much easier and they work as they should of course they won't be correct 100 of the time but it's actually much much smoother and more more reliable than beta 2 by far so you can notice that if you're updating from beta 2 you will notice the difference also we will have also better controls here on the controls on the lock screen so if you go to customize and change one of the controls one of the buttons here you will notice that this part right here works much better now this was really really buggy now you can just go ahead and move things around of course choose whatever you want here and it doesn't actually glitch at all so it's and great update when it comes to performance and of course everything that needed to be fixed especially for the lock screen control center and the home screen and finally the bug with the icons has actually been fixed i'm not having that problem anymore because it was actually really really annoying and now let's talk about the next betas what to expect and when to expect beta 4. Well, I would actually expect Apple to take another couple of weeks to release Beta 4. Of course, since the release of Beta 3, it's almost a week now, so I would expect them to actually release the fourth Beta on the 22nd of July. That Beta should be really interesting. I'm, ex I'm expecting to finally see some of the Apple intelligence features come to iOS. Maybe the ability to create your emojis, maybe the image playground and something like that now of course the new series features will come later on but some of the apple intelligence features should actually come really soon and i'm expecting beta 4 to be that beta that will actually bring some of those features now again as i said i'm really expecting apple to release it on the 22nd and most likely after this release the next ones will be on weekly basis so then 29th then 5th, 12th, and the 19th, and so on. So I'm expecting Apple to take another two weeks for Beta 4 and then move on to a weekly schedule. Now, in the meantime, this week, I really expect Apple to release the first public beta of iOS 18, and that should be the 15th of July. I really did expect them to, to just release it this week that just went by, but they did not. Hopefully, that will happen either here with the 15th or the 16th of July. So, that's basically it for this video, guys. iOS 18, again, a great update. I'm really surprised with Beta 3, how good it works, and also how good the battery life actually is being that it's a beta of such a big update so that's it thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video of course subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one